Mr. Sharp. From 817-721-5489, who do we have? Uh, good morning, Your Honor. This is Tom Sharp. Uh, I'm not uh, on the case at the court, which is called, but I had filed a motion, and the hearing had been set at 9 o'clock, and it was not on the court's docket. Can you tell me what hearing, what the case number was on that, Mr. Sharp? Yes, Your Honor. It's case number 23-20085. When the case has been dismissed, the court dismissed the case with prejudice before this, before today. Right. That would have terminated the motion because the case is dismissed and the stay went away as a matter of law. Okay. So the motion is considered moved. I just wanted to make sure that was the case. Right. No, that's correct. Thank you, Your Honor. No, thank you for calling in. Sure. Mr. Cavanaugh. Good morning, Your Honor. Matthew Cavanaugh from Jackson Walker, co-counsel for the Center World Debtors. I'm joined today by lead counsel, Mr. Jordan Elkin and Ms. Kira Foster from Kirkland Ellis. They'll be taking the lead today. Thank you. Mr. Elkin. Good morning, Your Honor. Jordan Elkin with Kirkland Ellis on behalf of the debtors. Mr. Cavanaugh, I'm here today with my colleague, Kira Foster. Good morning. From 214-632-5414. Yes. Michelle Schreiro here for Kimco Realty. Daniel Lyon and Aviva Manamore on this matter. Great. You're the one I need, Ms. Schreiro. And Ms. Foster, if you wanted to speak, if you would press five star. I see you. Here we go. I got you. Good morning, Ms. Foster. Good morning, Your Honor. Kira Foster, Kirkland Ellis, counsel to the debtors. Thank you. Look, the reason I set this for hearing is I didn't know whether Ms. Schreiro's client would object to vacating the order. So the motion had been pending, and I didn't know if she had relied on the fact there were no objections and then would object to vacating it or whether she's happy to reopen the negotiations or where things are, and that's why I've set the hearing. Ms. Schreiro, let me let you start by telling me what your client's position is. Sure. Michelle Schreiro for Kimco. The parties, this is a really significant lease, and there is an unpaid tenant improvement allowance on this matter. The parties are working cooperatively, going down the checklist so that the TIA can be approved, and I believe that the debtor's position is they don't want to assume it until they know whether the allowance is going to be paid. So we are working cooperatively with them. On one hand, we don't think it's necessary to do it, but we are willing to go along with their position because we are working cooperatively. So we are fine with the order being set aside right now. Okay. Anyone else who can talk can want to, but if both parties want to set aside the order, it's going to be fine with me. Does anyone oppose this? Okay. I couldn't tell that position, Ms. Schreiro, and I thought since it was an emergency, I better set it for hearing, and I thank you for appearing. I will go ahead and vacate the order and allow the parties to return to a normal business relationship and see what they can get done. Ms. Foster, Mr. Elkin, Mr. Kavanaugh, is there anything else that we need to do in the Senate world? No. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you all. I will get the order entered this morning. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you.